Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Celine Teen Box Bag. So I've wanted to get this bag for a while because I love the design, I love the aesthetics, and if you watch my previous videos, you know that box leather is like this to me. There are a couple of things that I love about it, which includes the aesthetics, of course. It's very sleek, it's very minimalistic, there's barely any logos, and it just goes with everything. However, there are a couple of things that I'm not a fan of, which is something for you to consider if you are considering making this purchase since $4,000 is not very cheap either. Um, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's show you some close-up shots and some watch shots. All right, so we have the front of the bag and the side. When you compare it to my Constance 18 video, you can see the side compartments are a lot smaller. When you open up the flap, you can see the Celine logo and the internal compartments. A small flap in the front and a larger one in the back with a smaller pocket. Here's the bag on me. I'm wearing this on the shortest strap option which is perfect for the shoulder bag. Keep in mind how the strap looks in this shot as I'll be talking about that later. You can lengthen the strap and wear a crossbody and it's the perfect length for crossbody as well. I'm 5'4 for reference. So to open this bag, you would just lift up on the handle here and then the flap would pop open and you can see this is actually where you would attach the strap as well. So. Having that said, as you can see, when you're closing, that strap actually takes up room that otherwise you can fit more stuff into. So that's one of the cons is that you can't really fit a lot into those bags. So there's three sizes. There's a small, this is teen size, which is almost like a in between, between the small and the medium. So the small is way too small and it can barely fit a phone, which is definitely a no in my books if it's not practical. And the medium is a little bit big and boxy when I tried it on. So the teen, I was hoping to be the perfect in-between bag, but it's a tad on the small side. And because of the strap, like I said, there's not really much room for you to fit much. And I'll show you what I usually carry in this bag and how it can be a little bit of a struggle. So this bag is pretty small guys, so what I can fit is I can put my Hermes box Calvi in. So that fits no problem. And then I can also fit my LV 4 key pouch as well. And maybe one more lipstick. But we're pretty much at full capacity in the back. And in the front, I can fit my husband's iPhone 12 Pro, but it's going to be a struggle to close because there's barely any depth in the front compartment and the middle section is just wasted space and really doesn't help because the depth of the front, as you can see on the bottom of the bag, is so minimal. And if you wanted to adjust the straps, there are a couple ways to do that. So once you loop the strap through, this, these two hardwares here is really what you would use if you wanted to shorten or lengthen the strap. There's actually three holes you can see here. There's one, two, and three. So there's a crossbody option and there's a single shoulder option if you like that. Um, and what you would do to open it is you would just pull up on the tab like this. And then you would pull up on this tab as well. And that way you can take the strap and you can pull it up or down depending on how you want the strap to be structured. So this right now is set to the crossbody length. If I wanted to make it a little bit shorter, what I would do is I would just pull this down and you do have to almost play around with it a little bit. And I would slide this down and then I would line up the holes here and then you would just pop this closed and then you kind of line up the holes with the buckle and then you push down and then now the strap is shortened. So once you have the strap set to the single shoulder option, which is the shortest option, you can see there's one flaw. This strap is a lot longer and there's nothing to kind of hold it down. So. This kind of makes it hard for you to wear it on both sides of your shoulder. If you wear it on this shoulder, it looks fine from the front. But if you wear it on the other side, now you have this unsightly strap that's just dangling around, which doesn't look very 
sleek or very put together. So that is one of the big things that I don't like about this. And it just looks kind of messy. And I do like having the option of changing up the way you want to wear. Sometimes you don't want to wear a crossbody, you just want to wear it on the shoulder and that just makes it a little bit hard to do that. Another thing I don't really like about it is the hardware that's on this strap. So I know it's very minimalistic, but I just don't like having any hardware, especially with such sharp corners and sharp edges, because A, it's uncomfortable. Um, if it's digging into your shoulder, that it's not very comfy. And also it can really rub on whatever you're wearing because it is so sharp and that can cause issues to the clothes that you're wearing. And lastly, as you see me adjusting the strap it's not the easiest thing to adjust and this strap does tend to especially if you're wearing a crossbody it does tend to slide around a lot as well it's very easy to slide around so this hardware will just kind of go all over the place but it is good if you want to minimize the rubbing of the hardware on your clothes you can kind of sling this strap all the way to the to the back that way your shoulder area is free from any hardware Lastly, there's another leather that this bag comes in. So this is in the box cab, which is actually an updated box cab. So I think the older one was a little bit more scratch prone. So this one's supposed to be a little bit hardier. Um, the other leather that this bag comes in is the Liéger leather, which is almost like a more scratch resistant Prada Safiano kind of stamp leather, which I'm not a fan of at all. The Liéger leather looks almost like plastic and it feels a little plasticky as well. And I've heard that it actually scratches and you're not able to buff out the scratch as you would with box leather. Okay, for the next part, I don't recommend anybody do this, but for the sake of science, we're gonna try to do the scratch and water test on this box leather, just in case sometimes you know how rain gets on your bag, you know, does this bag react to that well? So I guess we'll see. So we'll do that on the back. So I'm gonna scratch the bag and hopefully uh, the video can catch this. I'm gonna make a scratch right here. Okay, so you barely see it. I don't know if you can see where I scratched it. I don't really see it that much. So I'm gonna just try that again, okay? So I'm gonna use my nails. That was actually pretty deep. So I don't even know if you can see that. I'm gonna just do that right here again. Can you even see that? So I guess it doesn't really scratch as easily, so that's good. And then I guess you can kind of see this right here. Kind of see a line right there that's where the scratch is and i'm just gonna try to buff it out with my finger and yeah i don't <laughs> i don't think the buffing is doing much the scratch is not really that perceptible which is good but the buffing doesn't really do much so there's that okay so now we're gonna do something which i do not recommend okay but we're gonna actually do a little bit of a water test and see how the leather reacts to water so do not try this at home kids all right guys here we go just kidding guys all right wasn't that fun now all joking aside so a characteristic of box calf is that it's supposed to blister when it touches water and the essay will tell you to avoid water, a bit of rain is fine, but to wipe the water off ASAP. I think this new updated box leather is treated because it almost has a water resistant characteristic and the water just beats on the bag instead of being absorbed. And after wiping it off, it really doesn't damage the leather at all. And no, I did not spray anything on the bag. So I guess the updated Celine box leather is pretty scratch and water resistant and not nearly as scary as we think. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully this was helpful and put your either put your mind at ease about buying this bag because of the scratch and the water test or maybe it turns you off because of the strap. And if you guys do know any ways that I can bind the strap down when I'm wearing it as a single shoulder option, then please let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe I'm just missing something. And otherwise, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe. And I'm so excited to see you in the next one. Bye.